All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Tom Novak with Novak Weather. It is Monday, August 31st. We're going to be talking about the much cooler weather pattern that's going to lock in, not as much this week, but as we get into the Labor Day weekend, especially Sunday and Monday of Labor Day weekend, and then much, at least of the first half now, of September. And, uh, you know, Sven had touched on that earlier today, and he's spot on. This is it's going to be a much colder weather pattern than what we are certainly used to, and as we look at the visible satellite loop now for late this afternoon and evening, you can see a real fast westerly flow now in our atmosphere has developed, and it's pushing clouds. Clouds are moving quickly across the upper Midwest, so we go from sunny skies to clouds real quickly in this type of an environment, and you can already see signs of some cooler air over us, at least over northern and eastern Minnesota, with puffy cumulus. These are fair weather cumulus clouds. Get used to them because I think we're going to have quite a few of them here as we go through the next week or two as uh, colder air aloft creates an unstable atmosphere as the sun warms up the earth. So yeah, um, quite a bit can be going on with this fast flow and I'm going to show you here in, what I mean in just a little bit. But first off, uh, here's the rain from uh, early this morning. Uh, and as you know, thunderstorms developed over the Dakotas late yesterday evening and then they moved east into Minnesota and there was a fairly heavy area of rain across about the southern third of Minnesota from just south of the Twin Cities Metro to the Minnesota-Iowa border and the rain here in southeastern Minnesota was welcome. They've been parched down there in the Rochester area and areas east and south of Rochester and a good solid one to two plus inches of rain down there and then of course where they really don't need much rain which is northwestern Minnesota, they, they picked up another inch to two inches of rain up there. But in general, much of Minnesota received a pretty healthy rain overnight last night into the morning hours. Uh, still need some rain here in northeastern Minnesota. They didn't get it, or at least they didn't get much. So that's really the only bad news from the system uh, that hit us over the last 24 hours. Okay, here's a jet stream structure now as we go through time. And we're going to concentrate on what's happening this week. Here's this fast west-to-east flow across the upper Midwest during the middle portions of this week. But watch, we get a buckle in the jet stream as we get into later this week. So that's going to be one shot of cool air from Canada that's going to come down for Thursday and Friday. We warm up just a little bit as we get into the early portions of the Labor Day weekend. But then look what happens as we get into Sunday and Monday. This is a very cold shot of air for this time of the year that comes straight out of the northern reaches of Canada and surges south into the upper Midwest. This is for early next week now, as we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week. No doubt there's going to be a very cold pool of air over much of the upper Midwest. In fact, over much of the northern portion of the country. Um, and that's going to lower our temperatures to well below average as we go through time next week. In fact, that cold air sticks around for much of next week. Look at this, a cutoff low in the upper atmosphere is likely going to produce clouds and cool temperatures over the upper Midwest and Great Lakes as we get in too much of next week, at, right after the Labor Day holiday. All right, these are the temperatures now in the lower layers of our atmosphere from the European computer model guidance. And here's that little quick shot of cool air as we get into later this week that comes out of Canada. But then watch what happens as we get into the weekend. Now, this is uh, Saturday of the upcoming weekend. You can see we get a warm surge of air now, or a warm bubble of air that's coming up out of the desert, desert southwest. So if you want the warm air, you're going to get it at least the way it appears on Saturday. But then look at what happens quickly as we get into Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday of next week. This is a very cold surge of air for this time of the year that comes into the upper Midwest right out of Canada. In fact, we're talking about temperatures uh, for at least for overnight lows, maybe into the 30s over portions of Minnesota. And yes, even here in eastern and southern Minnesota and western Wisconsin, we're likely going to drop into the 40s or to near 40 degrees as we get into next week. That's how cold of air that we have heading towards us as we get into a good chunk of next week. In, in fact, like I mentioned, a at least the first half of September is looking pretty cool. Now, these are the temperature anomalies at the surface as we get into this weekend. Look, we have temperatures near or above average on Saturday. Uh, keep in mind, the average temperature is just around 80 degrees, maybe in the upper 70s for this time of the year. So no reason why we can't eke out an 80 degree reading for the first half of this weekend. But as we get into Monday, which would be Labor Day, 
of next week now, look at how the temperatures just crash. These are afternoon temperature anomalies for Monday, which is Labor Day of next week. We're talking about temperatures a good 10 to 15 degrees below normal now on Monday. That would put us into the upper 50s and 60s across Minnesota. And then even as we get into now Wednesday of next week, and I know we're looking way ahead, but look at this cold air, just amazingly cold air actually for this time of the year, with temperatures a good 15 to 25 degrees below normal over much of the northern plains and upper Midwest again as we head into next week. Now our only real shot, the way it appears for significant rain over the next seven days or so, it, it looks like it's going to come on Saturday evening here over Minnesota. This is the future radar now from the European computer model guidance for Saturday evening and here's the Twin Cities Metro just for geographic reference and take a look at the showers and storms that develop ahead of a powerful cold front on Saturday evening over the upper Midwest. We could even be uh, looking out for some severe weather the way it appears as we get into Saturday evening and then those storms quickly push east as that cold front surges. The cold front will be stretched across Minnesota late Saturday night and it's going to surge east during the overnight hours on Saturday and Sunday morning. Um, and then again, like I'd mentioned, we are left with cold air after that. And uh, yeah, we're talking about temperatures well below normal as we get towards Labor Day and then the following week after that.